Alright, so I figured I'd uh, go ahead and do another really quick guide on the LR Goku event. <clears throat> this is going to be specifically, well, technically for the global side, because the global side does allow you to use the technique team that I'm going to go over, but specifically also for the JP side, which will, if you're watching this in the future, may have come to global already. Um, essentially, as you see on my screen, these are really the cards that you want to focus on when you're going up against any LR event. That's the LR Frieza or the LR Goku, just because those are the two types of the two events you actually have to grind out. Uh, but these are the two cards that we're gr grinding for, and these are the two events you're going to try and prep for. Now, typically with the LR Frieza, you're going to want it's, he's going to be in agility on stage four for additional dupes. But overall, he is a strength. You're going to want to either go for a mono agility team, but Personally, I have been using the Mono Technique team. I know this has been a thing for a while. A lot of people have talked about it. I've seen it on Facebook. I've seen it on the Reddit. Uh, as soon as I saw it on the Reddit, this was actually back last weekend when I was really, really sick. Um, I wanted to get a video about this out there, but I, I just couldn't do it. So um, I had no voice. I was coughing, all that stuff. You know you know how it is. I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, um, the Technique team, I've had a lot of luck with. Actually, I, I probably have a video right now to the left going showing you how easy it is to do now this video i think is only three and a half minutes or something like that of me taking on the lr goku event from the start of the fight the actual start start of the fight to the end but i've cleared the actual mission from start to finish in under three minutes obviously i got lucky with with crits and everything but i was able to so let's go ahead and talk about it now i'm gonna not do a lr frieza team i just want to talk about him saying that lr frieza a mono strength team could be viable uh not so much just because there's not a lot of good defenders but I did want to mention him. So let's go ahead into the Mono Technique team. Not that one. Uh, mono Technique, here we go. So this is my personal, personal favorite team. I love running this team. I have my friend LR Goku, or my LR Goku, right? I, first off, I use Skinny Tanks as my leader. Key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 20%. Now I know, I get it. Some of you guys are saying just use double LR Bulma. No, I am sorry. I am not using a double LR Bulma. Why, you may ask? Well, because LR Goku, you want him to get off the Spirit Bomb. And I don't like using Fruit of the Tree of Might all the time. Uh, even though he does have a Gohan with the key plus three for all for technique types, I still don't like using him. So let's go ahead and look about look what I'm doing over here. So I use the skinny tanks as one lead. The second lead is a hundred percent. Now mind you, it is it has to be a hundred percent. A hundred percent LR Goku at Super Attack 20 if you could find him. Now obviously this is for those of you who are more advanced. This is not going to be ideal for a team. Uh, or for a player that's just starting out. If you're a player that's just starting out, you're probably going to want to either run a double skinny tanks team. Um, if you don't have LR Goku, I'd say double skinny tanks or a skinny tanks and a Bulma mixed together. Uh, this team really banks on you having, though, the Bulma 100% and your own LR Goku 100%, like me personally, Super Attack 10, but 100% in the dupe system and he's ready to go. And I'm using this guy over here as a placeholder for another LR Goku. So this is the rotation I like. I like LR Goku with a Gohan, the um, the baby possessed Gohan, because it's key plus three, plus they give each other Super Saiyan and Kamehameha. A little bit of attack buff right there. And then on the other side, it is uh, it's still LR Goku and it's Kaba. Kaba gives uh, Golden Warrior, which is key plus one, and Super Saiyan, so they get off a little bit higher in key. Um, or they could rotate on and off, depending on who you have. I like Master Roshi on rotation A because he is uh, he gives a technique types attack and defense plus 25%, so that attack buff is really useful, and the defense is good too. Um, the Skinny Tanks is just because he's the leader, and then the Balma over here because she is a really good defender, and if you set her up for crits, that's why I set her up for crits, guys, instead of doing dodge. It's The reason is because, because when she hits, it's not a lot, but she still crits with some damage, and she does a pretty damn decent job. I mean, she's not hitting like the Goku and he crits, I put it like this, when this Goku crits and you're running the team that I'm currently running, I've had him hit for between 1.1 to 1.5 million, that's including uh, attack boost items, guys. That's not just base. But th that's why I like this team. First off, these, well, not first off, but one of the main reasons also is LR Goku, both of them tank really well when they're at 100%. They're tanking, so you're not taking a lot of damage. Every time I usually use one, at most two Sensu Beans, depending on how the super attacks came in. Um, and then you have the other Bulma, who is freaking doing really well with, with tanking as well. And when her passive skill hits off, uh, it is damage reduction and then minus defense. So it's whatever the uh, opponent is attacking you with. Uh, mine, then the damage reduction takes into place if it goes off, and then minus her defensive capabilities. By the way, um, I did want to say shout out to the Reddit because I did do some searching for these teams, and I did, I don't know where, I couldn't find the post. I know someone I put up the post about how the damage reduction on Balma works, uh, so I did want to state that as well, but uh, more damage reduction in general. But this is my favorite team. 
I've run this event on three minutes flat usually every time, but it does take into consideration that you're just looking to grind out the LR Goku uh, for additional Super Attack 10, which I have, and that's, that's all there is to it. But um, this is what I prefer, guys. If you have this team, I recommend going for it. Uh, the other thing is, if you don't, if your LR Goku isn't at LR and you have him at TUR, this will still be good. This will still be viable. He's not going to hit as hard. But I mean, at that point, if he is TUR, you should have been able to get him at all. Not, I don't want to say you should have been able to get him at 100%, but the. the during this event, if you've been playing and you're actually proactively going after him, he should still be at 100%. A TUR Goku at uh, almost 100% is going, or at 100% is still going to be hitting very well, and you're still going to get that crit damage. Um, I know I've been going on rambling on that one. Let's go ahead and talk about this other one. Now, this is specifically for the JP side at this time, just because we don't have the Goku Jr. Uh, let me just go over it real quick. I don't have him personally on my JP account. I have the card. I just never got him 100% in the in this dupe system. Um, essentially, this is what you're going to do. You're going to have... I, will, I was actually going to use the base form for uh, a placeholder, but uh, it turns out he's actually viable on this team. You're going to want the Goku Jr. over here, and then you're going to... Or Super Saiyan Goku Jr. and his other base form, and you're going to want those two together because they hit off four of each other's key links, which is... Uh, key links. Uh, links in general. So they're giving each other... Was that two, four key? Four key, and then they give himself a defense buff of 15%. Now, this guy's going to tank really well, especially against the technique Goku type. Um, he's not going to do good against the last stage, the final stage. But uh, overall, he this is going to be very good on stage 3. Now, I did want to also state, because I didn't state this a little bit earlier in the video, you're going to want to go stage 3 for just the metal. Stage 4 is just so you get the dupes. Once you get the dupes, there's no reason to grind stage 4. You don't have a higher chance of getting more medals. Stage 3 is better for medals because you're guaranteed metal drops. There are no dupe drops on stage 3. Um, so you're going to want these two to run together. Um, and then the other side, you're going to want this Doken Awake and this TUR Trunks, the free-to-play one. If you don't have him, the SSR variant will work. That's kind of what's going to go on the global side as well until he gets a TUR form. But the TUR trunks is going to be really good. He links with the Goku Jr. for... Let's see over here. Stop that. Uh, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, and Saiyan's Blood. So that's two key and attack plus 10%. And then on rotation, you're going to have the Possessed uh, Trunks, which gives key plus three to his, uh, everyone on site. The um, base form trunks is key plus two for intelligence. And then I just like Ice Shenron just because he has the GT link. And that GT link is going to allow everyone to get more uh, super attacks off. So, you know, everyone here essentially has GT except for this Trunks. Uh, so outside of him, everyone's going to be hitting off the GT link. That's why I just chose Ice Shenron. But overall, guys, that's going to be good for um, Stage 3. This will not be good for Stage 4. Uh, this team over here will be good for Stages 3 and Stage 4 on the uh, LR Goku event. So go ahead and grind that out when you can, when you have them. Uh, also, the other two stages as well. Um, this team will also be good. In the LR Frieza event, especially when he goes to agility and you guys are looking for dupe pads, this is just going to destroy the LR Frieza event stage 4. But on stage 3, this will still be very viable. I prefer the, the free-to-play technique team over anything else. Um, I don't see this being as viable on the Frieza, uh, but then again, you could also go over the agility, but I'm not going to be going over the LR Frieza event until that stage comes out. But anyway, guys, that's it. I just wanted to go over that with you and give you a little bit another of a secondary synopsis of additional teams that you can run um, uh, as a secondary part to the other video. So if you haven't seen that other video, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link it in, at the end of this video and in the description below. Thank you for joining me here today. Hit that sub button if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later.